Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer. It is a beautiful spring morning here in the Magdalen Islands and I am heading to the ferry uh, to pick up 900 pounds of Eco Soya CB Advanced Soy Wax and I'm so excited because I've, I'll let you know about the whole story through this video, but I've been waiting for this shipment for a long time, so let's go. So I have a minivan because I'm a mom of three. <laughs> so I emptied the car and I also have a friend coming along to help with her Jeep because <laughs> it's roomy. And we're going to go pick that out because uh, having like my shipments like this shipped to the soap shop, I can have it delivered by the, the ferry company. But if they do, it's super expensive. So I'm going to go get it myself. Let's go. So I decided to put the phone on my uh, my car clip and show you <laughs> the road along the way. It is the end of March and uh, we still have snow, but it's eight degrees Celsius outside. It's super nice, very warm <laughs> to me at least. <laughs> it's making me happy because I know spring is, you know, really on the way. It is here. It's just early spring. Going to the ferry terminal is about five to eight minutes for me to drive, so it's not that far. Most of the time I pick up my goods myself, unless it's not manageable, then they have trucks and I have it delivered. But today it's manageable, so we're going. So this is the warehouse where I come and pick up my goods whenever I order anything in bulk for the soap shop. So try and find a little spot and park so that you know we can get the, the wax in i may have to wait for my turn though there's a couple trucks yeah okay so this is what 900 pounds of soy wax looks like it's not that big <laughs> it sounds more impressive than it is oh there it is It fits in two cars, so that's amazing. I have uh, six boxes in my car. The rest is in my friend's Jeep because it's a big Jeep and it has a good suspension. Um, and while I am here, I'm going to go on the dock and show you our brand new ferry. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's brand new. It just crossed the Atlantic from Spain. So since I'm here, I'll go and show it to you guys. La la la. <laughs> so fun to drive on a sunny day if finally like warm weather okay let's go find the ferry it shouldn't be too hard to find it's super big it's twice the capacity our old ferry used to be able to carry in terms of cars and passengers so there it is right on the right and there are many ferries here um, on the commercial dock because um, there is one ferry for the goods, one for passengers, one goes to Montreal, one goes to Prince Edward Island. Um, so yeah, there's many boats here. <laughs> there's also, it's also the fishing dock. So people who fish scallop right now, lobster and other things. I'll park here to show you the new ferry. And here it is. It's the CTMA Traversier. It's called the Madeleine 2. Magdalene 2. Um, this boat was built in Spain in 2018. It was called the Villa de Terror and it was rebaptized and it's now ours. So this ferry takes passengers and islanders, uh, tourists, people who visit the island, people want to, wanting to go on and off of the mainland and this will really help uh, because it's twice as big. This ferry will start crossing in June. I think it still needs to be um, sent like for inspection to meet the Canadian norms but it's just arrived like in the past week and everybody's super excited 
to go aboard. I don't know when I'll be crossing over, but I'm super excited about this too. <laughs> and look at that huge chairlift. So this is to um, take boats in and out of water. And this one is super big because we do have large fishing boats in the islands. So they need big chairlifts. So let's head home. Dock traffic. <laughs> At this time of the year, many boats are still out of the water. Beautiful, beautiful sailboats. Um, you may or may not know that I grew up on a sailboat. My my dad is a sailor. He's a captain, and my mom homeschooled me on our on our boat. Growing up, my first trip, I wasn't even a year. We spent like eight months at the Caribbean. And my parents took me along with them until I was 16 years old. So daughter of the sea, <laughs> born on an island, raised in a sailboat. I'm still surrounded by, you know, everything that relates to the sea. And my parents still run a, their sailing school. They've been, they founded it in 1973. And it's well over 40 years old since it was established. So my kids go to summer camp, sailing summer camp every summer, and I'm super happy that they're learning to sail. It, you know, it's part of who I am, being in the water, sailing, <laughs> living aboard has some, is something I haven't done in a while, but I, I still sail with my, my parents' small sailboat. And my dad is actually building a sail and rowboat for my kids right now. My dad keeps building boats. He's 78 years old and he always has a project. So his spring project is to build my kids a boat. Their very own boat. nice workout so yeah there they are all of the echo soya boxes of wax ah so this is what 900 pounds of wax looks like and guess what I'm waiting for another shipment of uh, actually coconut 83 so we're gonna need to remodel the inside to figure out where we're gonna put all this wax <laughs> uh, but I wanted to make sure that I did not run out of wax for the next year uh, there's been shortage in the industry so to make a long story short, um, I placed this order of CB Advanced um, Echo Soya Wax in November, on November 4th. Actually, I paid for my order um, from, for CB Advanced uh, from Echo Soya, who is owned by Carax in the UK. At the time that I placed my order, there was an eight week lead time until they could produce, box and ship the wax to me. Now I think it's 12 to 14 weeks of lead time. Um, so it's really difficult. Uh, and, and, you know, there's many reasons for the shortages um, because of COVID, you know, staff, social distancing, um, also ingredients, you know, the, the materials needed to make the wax. The chain of supply is slowed down everywhere. So please don't be too hard on our amazing suppliers and distributors and the manufacturers because they're dealing with COVID just like we are and they're doing their best. So once my shipment was boxed up and ready to go, it got put on a vessel uh, and it crossed the Atlantic. That probably took a couple weeks. I would say it's like about two weeks, but then it was stuck in the Montreal port for a little while until it could get unloaded. And then <laughs> the shipping company that was uh, shipping my order for Carex, um, they went under a cyber attack and all of their email, phone lines, everything was off for a couple weeks. So my order was actually sitting at a warehouse in Montreal. We were not able to locate it. We were not able to clear customs on it. It was a nightmare. Um, it was not Carex's fault. It was just, you know, bad bad timing so it was about three weeks until we could locate and clear customs and then it took another two more weeks until 
the shipping company actually shipped it to my carrier, which is CTMA, the ferry company that uh, we've just visited. Um, and I'm not sure why. I don't know why it took so long. It was like emailing back and forth and they weren't super friendly. So I'm not gonna name the company, <laughs> but it was not fun dealing with them. Um, like I gave them all the instructions. I gave all the paperwork, everything. And then I don't know, like the communication was just not easy. But then one day I got confirmation that my order had been shipped to CTMA. And then after that, it takes one week. Uh, there's one ferry crossing from Montreal to the islands each week. So that leads us to today where I was able to pick up my goods and I'll be able to make more amazing candles. I'm super happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening and watching this video, uh, listening to my wax story. Um, so, so I hope it, you know, it, it brings a little bit of hope to the candle makers out there that, um, you know, if you are prepared and if you are patient, you will get what you need, but you need to prepare ahead of time. I ordered this on November 4th and we are now March 30th. So do the math. That's like more than four months, <laughs> almost five. <laughs> it will be five months like next week. Um, there are wick shortages. There are containers shortages. So if you are able to get your hands on anything that you need, buy for the year. Stock your supplies. Don't overbuy because there's many of us who still need the supplies, but definitely, you know, secure your goods for a good year. If you can't do that financially, do it for the next six months. You never know when something's going to go out and you never really know when it's going to come back in. So <laughs> being prepared and doing things in advance is my absolute best advice. Be easy on those suppliers and manufacturers. They are doing their best. Um, see, I ordered this wax because I wanted to make sure that I had enough wax for my summer season. And I ordered this in November. So if you need anything in bulk, uh, some manufacturers will accept to ship to you if you buy at least a pallet um, and if you're willing to wait. So uh, the Coconut 83, which is actually the AccuBlend 83. Oh, the which is actually the AccuPure 83 from AccuBlend. They had a six week lead time when I placed my order and it took about seven weeks until they actually put it on a truck. It's shipping right now. Um, my custom brokers are clearing the, the packages and it should be here within two weeks, I think, because it still needs to get to Montreal from California and then from Montreal to here. So it's a lot of processes and it surely needs to be monitored and, <laughs> and it's super stressful, but eventually it made it here so thank you so much for watching if you like to see behind the scenes videos like this uh let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions if i can help you with anything make sure to visit um the, co the description box below as i leave a whole bunch of useful links for makers uh join our facebook group makers collab we also have a club over on clubhouse under the same name it's called makers collab it's a great place to find you know resources support and find creative ideas sharing your ideas with others brainstorming you know getting feedback so that's it for today take care stay safe and i will see you guys very soon